friends, it's Becky from Saul's Mom Plans, and today I have a few things I wanted to share with you. Uh, one is I received an order from Mama Gloria's Sticker Shop, so I wanted to be sure and share that with you. And I also have a spread in my Erin Condren A5 Compact Vertical, and just wanted to kind of share with you how I set it up and used it this past week. So let's look at the sticker haul first. So, um, replace this, uh, place this order a, a while back, and it does take about a month maybe to get orders in, but um, I do, I'm a, uh, on her PR team, and I do like supporting her sticker shop, so it really didn't matter, you know, it got here, and it's a, I've got some beautiful kits to share with you, so let's look at them. Um, and again, her website is back up, so you can purchase off of her website um, and off of her Etsy shop. You can also purchase using my code, which is Becky20, to get 20% off. So first, I've received um, in this order, she sent me a few freebies. So this one is uh, so for movie night or to watch. Uh, to show uh, what movie you're watching and a little stethoscope. So if you have a doctor's appointment, you can use that to mark those. So um, the first one that, um, the first kit that I ordered, this is kit number um, 69, and this is the stand with Ukraine. And I just wanted to purchase this um, to show support um, and not hearing a lot about the war as much as we were. And I just think one easy way to, to support Ukraine is to support small businesses. And these stickers are so beautiful. So I did purchase uh, the washi sheet, of course. Beautiful, vibrant colors in here. And I just love using washi. So that was a no-brainer on purchasing that one. I purchased the full boxes. And again, these are all hand-drawn stickers. Beautiful colors in that. I purchased the, um, the icons and the label sheet. And then the functional sheet. So checklist and flags and colorful boxes. And I, I use some of these in my A5 and I'll show you how I use them as soon as I share all these. So the, the blues and the golds are beautiful. Here's some more functional boxes. I have three checklist uh, pattern boxes here, labels, appointment labels, and some to-dos. And what I like about this, there are, you've got enough for the full week. So that's that page. And I, I did get the, um, the page with the date covers on them. Um, a couple of habit trackers, labels, and icons. So that's so pretty. So this was kit 1669 on there. Then I also decided to go ahead and get ready for July. And I believe this is for the horizontal because I, did, I do have a horizontal planner that um, I'm going to start using. So here are some... I guess full boxes, I guess, or labels. I think this will go in the little side area, but it looks to be about the width that I need. This is um, the monthly kit for July. I love the beautiful reds, whites, and blues in there. And here, these are some more um, horizontal functional boxes. So these are the full boxes, excuse me, for July for the horizontal love each and every one of those and then for the horizontal there's some to do some checkoffs uh, habit trackers icons I'm ready to jump back into my horizontal here's some more checklist and like a menu box there So these are the date headers for the um, horizontal. So you have the little flags and then the numbers to put in there and then all this beautiful washi. I, I love this sheet. I will, oh, and the dots on here. <laughs> and then um, that was kit, oh, sorry about that. Let me see what kit that was. This is 
kit 26. And this, again, I did buy for the horizontal on that one. All right, and then I picked up this one, which I had purchased before, but I can use it. I've got several different planners. This is kit 22. Obviously, I'm drawn to bright colors because I purchased it twice. You've probably already seen it. But um, these are the strawberries and cherries. Um, this is the washi sheet, the full box sheet, the icons and script, checklist and flags, appointment labels, check sheets and decorative boxes along with the to-dos again. And this is for vertical and hourly. And then the date covers again. And I love this weekend banner here with all the different colors. So that was my order from Mama Gloria. Again, um, I am on our PR team. And um, if you'd like 20% off, you can use Becky 20 to receive that. All right, so let me pull this up just a little bit. So here, this is my A5 compact vertical. And I kind of I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do, how I wanted to set it up and use this because, you know, I do have my, my life planner that I use every day. I'm finishing out school and so forth. Um, but I had some leftover Mama Gloria stickers. I, I had um, some of the washi and the date covers and flags, just kind of random things that I had. And so I decided to set up this page uh, this week using that. So what I decided, um, most of you know, I am retiring soon. And so full disclosure, I am not a very good housekeeper. Never have been. And it's just something that never been at the top of my list. So I thought, well, maybe if I break it down into what I need to clean and in smaller parts, just have, you know, four things to focus on um, each day that maybe I can get that done. So that's what I've done here. Um, so I had used the date covers and then I just went online and looked at some of the check sheets for cleaning and thought, okay, what, what would work for me? And then kind of, I know they mainly have like all one room on one day and, you know, but I kind of spread it around except for Tuesday. But so that's just what I decided to do. Um, four focuses and you can see I didn't get everything done this week. I may change it up for this upcoming week right here on the little flags. Those were my steps. I've got to do better on tracking my steps. Um, it's Sunday and I did not put a tracker there. Then I also did not do this on Tuesday, but I just a one sentence memory for each day of the week. So if I keep up with that through the year, I mean, I think that would be a great, I do keep a journal, but I just thought something to remind me throughout through the day and maybe I'll go through my pictures and something will spark it here and I'll go back and put that there um, and right here this um, I printed two little pictures on my sprocket and I used the pic collage app to make them a lot smaller but these were flowers that the boys gave me for Mother's Day this is a pot that I usually um, a big iron, cast iron pot that I would plant with my mom on Mother's Day, and I've planted it this year since it's at our house now. And I thought, it usually does not print this well, but there was an update in the Sprocket software, and I think the colors really turned out well. So anyway, um, this box is just kind of a what to remember to do for my upcoming week. I need to go back and look and see if I tracked everything here. And um, so I usually write in my journal, my planner, uh, clean out email, and then read. So I'll go back and look and see what I've done there. But anyway, that's the way I set up my Erin Condren A5 compact vertical for this week. Um, I would like to keep up with this cleaning, so focus on more things around the house, whereas my life planner is more work and digital content and so forth. So anyway, I'm hoping that'll work. I'm thrilled that I don't have to draw lines <laughs> on this. So we'll see. And again, this um, was an 18 month October. The dates lined up with May 
for this month, and then November will line up with um, June. So I can, you know, keep going in here throughout the month. But anyway, I just thought I would share how I set this up and hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I am an Arian Condren affiliate. I will have a link below. Um, and let me know how you are using your A5 compact vertical if you've purchased one. Um, I, I'm open to ideas. I love the size and I'll be using it a lot. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and let me know what you like. Thanks. Bye-bye.